I know it, and a lot of people who have been listening to his music know it. See, when the Lab Life of the Younger came out in 2020, I watched the thing when he came out, and he spoke about his depression and anxiety and the things that stress him. He spoke about it. If you listen to his music, he spoke about his troubles and his demons. And my thing is, where was Bianca in all of this? I'm sorry, but I have to ask the question. Where was the person sleeping next to him every night when he was going through all, the, all these troubles? Because I knew it. A lot of people knew it. Did Bianca know it? Bianca, I'm sorry, but we have to have the difficult conversation. Were you there for this man when he needed you the most? Because we all can tell that Ricky Rick was pouring from an empty cup. He was pouring from an empty, cu from an empty cup. He needed the help. He needed the support. He had a lot of pressure. He had a lot of stress. Everybody could see it. I could see it. If you go back to an Instagram post that Ricky Rick tweeted two years ago in 2020 in September, he tweeted, this land is still my home. This means that this man was contemplating committing suicide for two fucking years. Two fucking years this man was contemplating committing suicide. Where is the responsibility? Where is the accountability from the wife, from the people that Ricky Rick put on? Were they checking on him? Because everybody knew that this man was going through demons, he had troubles, but nobody was there when he needed them the most. And there's also holes in the story about how he committed the suicide to begin with. Apparently he was found at like 8.30 in the morning and he was hanging, he was found by his management team. If you live in the same house as Ricky Rick and he hangs himself, how does he get found by his management team? Don't you wake up and go to the studio to check on this man?